Just uh, making some pens here and all. What? Smell-o-vision. Look at that hay. So that's two 14s raked into one. Uh, we got everything is all raked now. Every last bit. Um, if you look way over there, you can see it. You see those three swaths? That's all double rig too, so that's all ready to bail as well. So, I guess I'll go home and I'll uh, unhook the rake. And I'll hook up to the square baler. So, we will see you in a few I guess uh, actually we're gonna go haul that cow first so I might I'll be a little while but it won't be too long for you guys so good enough I'll talk to you in a bit here well when I went bailing this morning Ashley took the square baler and went and did all the square baling so I'm going to have to bail something else for you guys, I guess. I might do some of this green feed north of the yard here. Uh, she said after I fixed that knotter, she never missed a beat. So there was a couple of the first that kicked out that weren't tied. And uh, once they got to the end, it's like kicked out. And she said then they never missed a beat. She said it tied every one. So we're going to take the old uh, whatever bail picker put them on army i got to get two hoses to extend off my where my grapple runs because i need uh two remotes for that bail picker there's only there's only uh one remote on the tractor so i got to run one off my uh pto lever but that or my uh loader because i got three on the on the loader there because they got the tilt the lift and then the grapple so my grapple when i take that bucket off i have a uh like quick couplers there and then i can just run two hoses to the back oh shit it's off just fix some more and uh anyways that is how i get the two um two remote so anyway i'll grab those hoses and uh there they are at the back. Grab those hoses and then I got, a, of course I got a flat tire on it. So I'll get that pumped up and then uh, we'll get ready to rock here. So we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so brought the truck over. Fill this tire up. Good and hard now, good and hard. That's what she said. Beat you to it. So anyway, this is a 1002 model. She's a 50, 55 bale 
square bale picker. Uh, me and Ashley put the plywood sheets on. They don't come with the sheets because they just don't. Um, but we always notice that if your bales aren't real tight in here, they start to wobble too much and then they'll start to go out the little tin things there. So anyway, I got to, first things first, I got to go get four bales, round bales. I'll just get some old shitty ones. And we usually stack our squares in behind the bins. So that is the plan. I'm going to take the army here. That's all I got with the loader right now. And I'll grab four bales and uh, set them up in behind as a backstop. Leave it ahead a little bit. And then we'll get hooked on the old stack liner. So for right now, that's what I'll do. I'll leave you here and... Uh... Okay, boys. I shot her off here so I can tell you about this old girl. So we got her hooked up here. There's two hoses. This one's in the tractor. The other one I come out of my grapple. Hoses come down. Then I plug them in here and then I just run it off this guy. And that runs my bale... Well, that's the bale deck. I'm not sure what the fuck that is. Table? Something? Not sure. Whatever. Anyway, I got everything lubed up. I uh, put oil on the chains. She runs real quiet. I kind of like that. So anyway, we're going to head out and uh, go pick some squares. So I'll meet you there when I get there. Look at this dog. How are you doing, Maggie? Ah. Stop and talk to her. Um, what are you doing? Did you see the hawks do that or what? Maggie, what are you doing? Okay, good enough. I'll lift this up out of the way. here that should go on that should be pretty damn good these will smell good boy smell real good okay so this thing here when the bale comes up comes up there drops on the second bale has to push this down okay first bell comes over hits here pushes this triggers the thing but like I say, you have to have two bills on her. This has to be held down for this table to lift up when that pushes over. So, that's just all mechanically uh, operated. Just purrs like an old cat. So here, yeah, we should be good. So, now what I gotta do is go up on the tractor. We'll lift this table up now. Let's see. Pull this lever back. Up goes the table. As you go slow the first time. Hopefully they won't tip. 
bring her back down. There we go. First, first load is up there. Let's go get another eight. <laughs> Find them, grind them, baby. Now this is a critical part where you can't go too fast. This bale picker is only a two wide, and it's kind of a piece of shit unless you know, unless you know what you're doing. squares out of here. Maybe that's what I could video. Get in there. That was kind of a kind of a bent one. Be good. Should be good boys. Anyway I'm gonna keep going here until I get the next roll and I'll show you what it does here. So talk to you in a few. Okay so now I'll put it back down. I'm not sure if you can see Anyway, we're gonna lift up the second row here. And now that pushes that other row back. So I go slow. Good enough. Bring this down. So them little teeth. These little teeth up there really hurt when you get them in the head. But they hold the bales back as you pick. So then this little tray here is on a spring, roller spring, these little fork looking deal. And that slides back as you lift more bales up onto your stack. Once you get to here, you got a full uh, rack. You got 55 bales on here. Anyway, let's give her. Once we get to about row three, then uh, we can shift her up a gear. So, anyway, I'll get another load here. Okay, boys, we're getting down to the tie here. We got, uh, that's row number four in the back. We got to do a tie on five for your seven, uh, seven males. So, we'll go pick up this one up here. And then, uh, just shut it off and then we'll have to do our tie. I'll show you how to do that. It's kind of a real system, this old girl. And once you get the tie done, then you roll up there and then you can fly. We're going a little hard there, I think. Anyway, she didn't want to flip up for us. Her it did, I mean, but that's okay. Anyways, Sanaways, Garth. Okay. So we got this one in here. There we go. And you see how we got eight up here. So I got to take one off. Actually, I take a few off, but I use this as a, uh, uh, I usually use this as a table, so. Okay, I'll show you how, do you see how these look on here? Four in a row, four in a row. I'll get the tie done, because I have nowhere to put you. And, um, and then I'll show you in a minute here, so. See in a few. Maybe this will work. 
really good footage here guys just trying to get you some good footage okay so we gotta take this throw him over here throw this guy over here oh that's slippery now what i do is i pick through these get my longest ones like this guy here a lot of fucking around but you know what I don't mind it when stuff goes good there we go now I'm gonna take this one here Now, I'll take, like I say, I like to, like to pick and choose which ones I, I use here. That's a nice long guy. Here's a long one. Some of them are a little bit shorter. And yeah, it makes a difference. So now, I think I'm going to do, slide that guy to there, there, this guy here, and this is where you got to be careful, you don't get those things in your fucking head. There. Give her a... There. No. Two longer ones. There. And this guy here. Like this. There we go. That's how we do it. In China. There. Good enough. Okay, come here you guys. I'm gonna show you this here. <clears> hey, <throat> okay. that one's kind of shitty, but I think this is a culprit here. I'll move that one back a little. See it's stuck on the edge here. I really should have these. I don't know if these are just a little bit too a little bit too long maybe anyway okay so you get the point so now I'll kick that guy in and then they'll all be flush and then these two will sit flat and then I'll tip that up and then I'll set this one down bring this guy up actually I might throw that one down on the ground and re-pick them back up but you get the point so I got eight and seven right five and two seven yeah so usually it's eight here's your tie this is what holds these other shitty rows together so whoo anyways i'll uh bring you back in a bit here hey now the pto shut off because we got that front row is loaded up so as soon as you start the pto them two are going to want to go up so we got to put that deck with our tie up first this one i didn't like too much here hang on there. Oh yeah, it's pushed in better now. Now, like I say, without the PTO on, we'll lift, lift that roll up. Hopefully. I gotta wait for them stupid things to stop swinging. Or they catch the bales, at bastards. There we go. Tie is up. There it is. Now, we can start the PTO now, and those ones that are on the deck should go up onto the platform. There they go. Mint. Okay, we'll see you in a bit.
that care of ice. Some nice speed right there. Last roll going up. Gotta watch them stupid things. Those uh, little teeth up there. They like to stab the bales. There we go. There it is. All right. So there's a full jag. That's a heavy load right there. Second cut, alfalfa. Mint. Okay, I'll get on loading on this video yet, and then I think that's going to be it for this video. So, see this shit here? You get this dust in here, then the table doesn't come down all the way. So, I'm going to have to dig all this out here. But, uh, anyway, I'll see you back at the yard. And so, we're going to pull this back up. Use the rope to help you. I think I need a new rope. And you flip the slash like that. Slam her down. Good enough. There we go, boys. On the road, back to the yard. We'll see you when we get there. Okay, boys. We got her unloaded. That's what we got to do to hold the stack up when it's real windy like this. See, it's leaning a little bit. That's okay. The next one I come back, I'll be able to push that all back. I might leave a little bit of a gap at the bottom and then uh, straighten that out, but it should be good. So, I couldn't video it trying to back it up because it would have been all shaky and shit, but when I get... Uh, more squares made we're gonna take the hay by and go cut some more and uh, I got a half load on the picker right now so I'll get enough to fill that load I'd like to get about I don't know four loads total is what I'd like to get so anyway that's the stack what she looks like when it's done but uh, like I said I'll see if I can get Ashley to uh, video next time when she's backing me in there to the dump so so this is what I got on here I got four rows four rows are on you see how those feet are coming back as I put each layer on they're just spring loaded and they roll down to here once it's full it brings his feet back like this and that pushes against his feet and then you tip it up and it holds it. um yeah so here's what we got there and then I got four on here right now see it there it is but she's ready to go for next time I gotta straighten out uh, where's that little you see that pin down there the pins bent and when that pin gets bent it doesn't latch on this table remember when I cleaned that table off here there's a little latch right there and that latch comes up and holds the table down and then it pushes these feet out here right here these feet here when you get it up they come through this hole this table stands up the feet push the push the uh, bales off of the wagon but like I say I'll try and get some footage here uh, when I get that full again and uh, unloading it so anyway that's it for now so let's go uh, I'm gonna go cut some more second cut off alpha get that done I'd like to get some more grass hay uh, for the horses and shit so Anyway, see you in a few. Alrighty guys, who's this? It's old Billy Nuts. There he is. He's a little sore in his hip, but he's coming around. Old Billy. But uh, anyways, I had a bunch of hay and grass and stuff cut. Uh, ready to do some square bailing, but the video was long enough. We got some rain here last night and this morning So I guess I'll have to get you back on uh, On that when I get rolling again with the square bale so anyway, thanks for watching and uh, 
We'll see you in the next one. I mean, hopefully I'll get another shot of old Billy here in the next video. So you guys are wondering where he is, or there he is. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.